Oh, this bad ammo is making my Glock jam. Another stove pipe. Hey guys, welcome to Militian Ranch. Today I'm going to be putting certain caliber bullets in the wrong caliber handgun. This is a Smith & Wesson. This is a Bodyguard 380, and obviously it's chambered in 380 ACP. This is a Ruger P85, and this is 9mm. And for those of you who don't know, the 380 ACP is the exact same diameter bullet. You can see these bullets are the same diameter. This is just a hollow point. Um, but they're both 9mm in diameter. The 380 ACP case is just a hair shorter. They actually call it a 9mm short. And since the cartridge diameter is exactly the same, it will load into a 9mm pistol. So that's what I'm going to try first. I'm going to put um, three rounds into this Ruger 9mm magazine um, and I'm going to have the 380 in the middle so it's going to go 9mm, 380, 9mm and what I assume will happen is um, it should, the first round should fire just fine um, and that'll knock slide back and it'll load in the 380 round just fine and then the 380 should fire as well and I don't know if it's going to have enough power to get the slide to come back and load that 9mm all the way we'll find out. Once again it goes 9mm, 380 ACP, 9mm Here we go. All right. Looks like the 380 is in the chamber. That was noticeably quieter. Let's see if it loaded the next 9mm in. Did not. So, 9mm is still in the magazine. 380 case was still in the chamber. But, as you can see, it fired fine out of there. Let's see if I can grab this thing. There's the 380 case. Fired with no problem, just doesn't have enough power to get that slide back. Now, I was expecting that one would work. That was pretty obvious because they were the exact same diameter. Um, one that's a little less obvious would be putting a 9mm in a gun like this. This is a 40 caliber Glock, a Glock 23. And for those of you who don't know, this is a 40 cal, this is a 9mm. 40 cal is actually 10 millimeters, so it's a millimeter bigger. And does have a, a little bit bigger case as well. Here's that Glock's barrel and the 40 cal seats right there. Let me show you what a 9mm does. It will drop it in here, will fall straight out the bottom. So it goes right through um, because it's a lot smaller. But the extractor will actually hold it in place right in front of the firing pin. This one, since it is a smaller diameter bullet and this uh, it's not made for this barrel. I, um, I'm sure it would still be fine, but I'm going to fire it from a distance just because there is going to be a bullet sort of wobbling around in the chamber. And just so you can kind of see how um, it doesn't really fit. This is a 40 cal. There's no wobble there in the end of the barrel when that bullet's all the way in. This is the 9 millimeter, and it will wobble around. And, you know, it has a millimeter of wiggle room in there. So I'm going to hook it down to this table and um, back off a little rope on the trigger and pull it and we'll see if it cycles a 9mm. I'm loading these the same way as I loaded the other one um, with the right rounds on the, the first and third shot and the wrong round on the middle. So it goes 40 cal, 9mm, 40 cal. Alright, I have this gun pretty tied in to the bench. I'm going to uh, go ahead and load the first one into the chamber and get back behind cover and pull this from a distance. See if it works. Looks like it did load another one in the chamber. Here goes 9mm. Obviously quieter. Let's see. There is something in the chamber. It's the 9mm shell. And it is really bulged. I hope you can appreciate, yeah, you totally can, how bulged that round is. So it did fire. I'll go check, make sure the barrel's clear. I'm sure it is, but it did not load the next round in there. Pretty cool. Barrel's clear, it fired um, that entire bullet all the way out of there. That's pretty neat. So a 380 will fit into a 9mm, which was no surprise. And a 9mm will fit into a 40 cal, which is no surprise either, 
and a Glock extractor in a 40 cal will hold on to that rim, which I thought that was pretty cool. Um, and that got me thinking. This is a 9mm. This is another cartridge, which is very similar, if not identical, um, to the 9mm on the back side, as you can see. They are the same size, same rim. This is a 223. This is the normal round shot out of an AR-15. And the Glock extractor will hold onto this. The problem is, I can't just load this into a Glock magazine, but if you set it in there just right, see if I can do this so y'all can see it. See how that round is in there. I pull it back and I can actually place it right into that extractor and it'll hold it in the barrel. So I think this is going to fire. Now this one, this one's one I'm actually worried about um, because this has a lot more power than a 40 cal and a 9 millimeter, and the bullet's a lot smaller so it's really going to be banging around in this barrel. Um, I don't really know what's going to happen. I assume that that cartridge, I mean I assume that shell is going to be all exploded when I open it up. But we're at Demolition Ranch so we're going to find out. Alright so I loaded those 223 rounds in the Glock but I couldn't get any of them to fire. They were hitting the primer. You can see this primer is dented and I didn't know if maybe um, it just wasn't hitting it hard enough. Um, or what, but I think what's happening is it's just not hitting in the center enough. These are center fire rifles, and maybe they just need to be hit directly in the actual primer, directly in the center of the primer. So um, I put this tape around this case, and that'll keep it centered in the barrel because what was happening, the um, extractor was sort of holding this thing um, a little cockeyed in the barrel so it wasn't hitting exactly center. So this thing will hold it, it can't move around now, and uh, we'll see if this works. All right, here is the Live 223 round going in the Glock 23. Place it right there in front of the firing pin. And I'll put the slide on the gun and we'll see what happens. Alright, moment of truth. Let's see if this thing works. I have a water jug in the way so we'll be able to tell how much power that bullet has. All right, that thing did fire. It uh, obviously was going very slow, but it went all the way through that and uh, just made a little entry hole there and a uh, small little exit hole here. And obviously an AR, if it was shooting that round, would have exploded this um, jug all apart, as would a, a Glock shooting a normal pistol round. So it was just going super slow. You know, there was no compression. So um, I'm gonna open it up, see what that case looks like. It was very quiet, so I don't think it even burned up all the powder. Probably just blew most of the powder straight out the barrel. Thing is stuck in there. Go we'll get something to push that out. Alright. Pretty bulged. I'm actually impressed. And there's some unburned powder in there. A little bit. Not as much as I figured there would be. You actually see where the, uh, the bulge started. It's kind of interesting and it totally um, pulled all that neck out. I got another one just to compare for those who don't know exactly what a 223 case looks like, but that's what they normally look like, so it's a lot wider and the neck is just gone. It totally opened that whole thing up. Here's what it looks like when the 223 is in a gun that it is designed to be fired out of. If you want to get yourself one of these Demolition Ranch shirts we have for sale, information is in the description below. Thanks for watching.
go.